So I guess you're up to speed in how the world really works. Getting there. Do you tell him? Tell me what? Look, the hit isn't about you. It's about me. What? It looks like somebody is not very happy with you being friends with a Grimm. What, those same guys who had me beat up before? I don't think so. Not for $25,000. This is a bigger deal. Well, who then? The guy who hired me is working for somebody else. Well, who the hell is that? We don't know. It could be a royal. Look, I heard there might be one in Portland. A royal in Portland? Really? This is getting kind of personal, don't you think? Somebody wants to send a message to all of us. She's one, too? Ah, uh, yeah. Blute bod. All right, look, the bottom line is we're running out of time. They're going to contact me tonight, and if I don't deliver Monroe's body, they're coming after both of us. And we're not going to find out who's behind this. All right, so how do we deliver a dead Monroe without killing him? Dead faint. What the hell is that? Monroe? Hey, Rosalie. So, uh, we have a problem. I'm in the spice shop with Nick and Hank. And me. OK. We need your help, honey. We wouldn't be here if we didn't. You want to let me handle this? Handle what? I need your help with a dead faint. For who? No, no, and no. We can't do this. Rosalie, we have to. It's too dangerous. He's a Koenigschlange. Yeah, he'll know if I'm faking it. Rosalie, how does it work? Oh. You ever hear of the poison in a blowfish? It's called tetrodotoxin. Oh, it's a sodium channel blocker, and it paralyzes the muscles, slowing down bodily functions. Add green colivat, and for all intents and purposes, you're dead. OK, so it's like suspended animation. Unless you don't wake up, then it's permanent. Well, it's going to be permanent anyway if they get to him. I don't want to live my life looking over my shoulder, you know? And I'm not interested in leaving Portland. I got a lot of good things going on here. There are some problems, you know. One, you wake up too soon, in which case, I don't know, they kill you. And the other is, you don't wake up at all. I guess in that case, I get the money. And which would you prefer? What do you think? Was the dead faint your idea? Actually, it was mine. OK. What are the chances of him not waking up? I don't know. I don't know. I've only seen it done once. And what happened that time? I never found out it was something my dad did, and he never talked about it. Well, I'm willing to take the risk. Monroe, please, I... I can't, I can't, I can't do this. Listen, if we don't catch this guy, all of Nick's friends are going to be at risk, OK? And that includes you. I am not going to let that happen. It's him. Rosalie, hold on a second. Take it. Hold it so I can hear it. Yeah. Is it done? Yeah, I've been sitting on the body for over an hour. Can we get this done? I'd like to get paid. Drive to Lake Forest, south entrance, three miles in. Repeat it. Lake Forest, south entrance, three miles in. Rosalie, we don't have much time here. You have to drink it all. Then lie down. Well, here's looking to you, kids. <laughs> Hoffentlich nicht zum letzten Mal. What does that mean? Hopefully not for the last time. If he doesn't wake up in two hours, have to respirate him. If his face goes white or his hands start to curl, he's running out of time. I got it. Monroe. Don't worry. I'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs>